that is our spouse already decided by Allah like who we are going to get married because I hear people say that death, birth and marriage is already decided so it, Sister Khadija, uh, it can't be Khadija, I want to ask yes. you a question. Can you hear me? Khadija? Yes, can hear. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question to help you answer your question. The question is, mm -hmm. this glass of mm -hmm. water is risk, isn't it? It's risk. Okay, sorry, Shank. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. this glass of water is risk, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay. The food we eat is risk, right? Yes, yes. The clothes we wear, the house we live in, the money we earn is risk. And also the children, yes. the children we have is risk, mm -hmm. is a provision from Allah. And the spouse yes. is risk. The spouse is risk from Allah the Almighty. Our risk entirely have been preordained for us so when you and i and every human being was in the womb of their mothers allah the almighty before breathing the soul into the fetus and deciding to make him or her a living fetus allah will send the angels to breathe the soul into him and then decree for him four things those four things we have no choice in their regard. We'll write down a risk. Every sip of water this person is going to drink until he or she dies. Every bite of food that he or she is going to eat until they expire. Whom they will marry? How many kids will they have? أنا الأجل the lifespan إذا جاء أجلهم لا يستأخرون ساعة ولا يستقدمون whatever Allah has ordained in respect of the risk or the lifespan will not be changed so yes the spouse is definitely risk the children are definitely risk يهب لمن يشاء إناثا ويهب لمن يشاء الذكور أو يزوجهم ذكرانا وإناثا this is what Allah stated in Surah Shura. He grants to whomever He wills, as far as children, females, girls, daughters. And He grants whomever He wills, boys, sons. Or He will give them both, boys and girls, or twins, or triplets. And He makes whomever He wills, still would not have any children. So this is all, and this is entirely a matter of risk. Well, if this is the case, why do we have to worry about it and propose for people and wait for the uh, approval? Because it's concealed. It's ripe for us. I didn't know whom I'm going to marry. I didn't know who would be my wife. So that's why, like, I didn't know what will be my job in the future? How much money will I make? And whether I will be rich or poor? So I applied for school, then I graduated. I applied for a job. I go every day to work so I can earn my provision even though it is preordained for me. Because to me, it's all concealed, right? I don't know. So I propose. Then I pray istikhara. And I make istishara. And whatever Allah has decreed for me is going to facilitate it for me so it will happen.